And using a mining model, it implies you know, roughly 13,500. So in some ways, you know, we could see that the cryptocurrency market is undervalued. Again, 2018 turned people bearish, but that bearishness of 2018, you shouldn't assume that that's what 2019 will look like. Um, so with that, I think we'll uh, open it to questions. And I co I saw a chart on Twitter comparing gold and Bitcoin. But the gold price was infla inflation adjusted, and I I found it very similar. And, um, and I compared um, both charts, and I I found that Bitcoin could reach 50k end of this year or beginning of 2020. Do you think, could we see a bull run like gold had in 2000 to 2011? It was a nice uh, bull run. I was a child, but you should know it. Do you, do you think we can just go up suddenly because there's too much bearish sentiment right now? And that gives me confidence. I think bottom is in, but uh, that's still, we, we're human and our my human emotion says, um, I, I feel like the bearish, uh, th this market scared me now because of that uh, brutal beer market in 2018, but it, it can't go down all the way to zero, it should end somewhere. I believe soon we'll see an uptrend. What do you think? Thank you. Um, well, I, I agree with you. I. You know, if you think about risk reward, you know, like upside downside, 2019, Bitcoin at 4,000, sitting at its 200 week moving average, um, at a time when sentiment's really bearish, and there's positive fundamental developments taking place, and the adoption of cryptocurrencies is still early, it's quite low, I think it's a great time. I, I, Look, Bitcoin could trade below, you know, 3,000 maybe for a couple weeks, but do I think it's bottom from a, you know, price structure chart? You know, yes. And um, I don't know if it can get to 50,000 this year, but, you know, if Bitcoin goes to 15,000 this year, it would be, you know, a huge return. Um, but I think there's upside from here, yes. We see a lot of great speech, by the way. Um, we see a lot of market activity driven by the likes of bots, um, especially because this is an unregulated market. Um, what, in your opinion, is the impact of things like bots and maybe groups hoarding and collecting large sums of coins? Um, do you believe that we'll see a kind of larger impact on that? Or, in general, what's your view on that kind of impact that that has? On yeah. The you know, it's probably one of the big questions uh, about the crypto market is, you know, the fact that there's whales, right, big owners, and, and they act kind of collusively. And uh, there's a lot of algos and bots either creating fake volume or uh, manipulating the market. That, those two factors pretty much describe every financial market. You know, like, uh, I think that if you look at commodities, it is a, a very rigged market. Um, highly manipulated. Um, in fact, you can see, as you, you just look at any headline, in any month it seems like another bank is paying a huge fine for manipulating, whether it's bond futures or, or uh, you know, oil or another market. And it's true in the equity market, you know, algorithmic trading systems and high frequency trading probably account for 90% of the volume of a stock. You know, I mean, the average stock now I think is held for only 30 seconds right now. So um, I think it's the nature of all markets is, is that you know you have either machines that can trade better than you or there's whales. Um, I think it's going to 
improve over time in the